SpaceX Starship is confirmed as the best rocket in the industry ever built. There have been a large number of spaceships made since the start of the century, but have you ever wondered what's the best one of the lot? SpaceX's Starship has set the bar immensely high, and none of the current Starships even come close to beating it as the best. Here are some of the reasons why the Starship is the best rocket ever built. Stay tuned till the end to see how the Starship will change life as we know it forever. The Tallest Spacecraft Ever Built On August 6, 2021, the Starship spacecraft was successfully stacked over its Super Heavy booster rocket, officially making it the world's tallest rocket. Elon Musk was over the moon at this milestone and said that it was a dream come true. It's apparent from the images of the Starship that were posted online, this spaceship is giant. The spacecraft itself measures around 160 feet, and the Super Heavy booster measures another 230 feet. So when the two are stacked, the pair reaches a height of approximately 400 feet. The sheer size of the Starship has been a point of fascination for everyone in the world ever since its predecessor was unveiled back in 2017. Let's take a few examples to understand the Starship's massive size. SpaceX's Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy spaceships, which are currently in use, are around 229.6 feet tall. The Atlas V rocket by United Launch Alliance measures around 197 feet. Before the Starship, the tallest rocket to ever fly was the Saturn V by NASA, and it had a height of 363 feet. So the Starship has the height of a typical 25 to 30 floor skyscraper and 1.311 times the height of the Statue of Liberty. It's not just the height that's massive, let's consider the Starship's width as well. The Starship's diameter is about 30 feet, which is the size of an average house. Well, the massive size of the Starship will come in handy as it's been designed to carry 100 people or 100 metric tons to Mars. The Most Powerful Rocket Ever the most powerful rocket ever flown to date was NASA's Saturn V with a thrust of 7.6 million pounds at launch. If the Starship does fly successfully, it will strike off two records from the Saturn V because, in addition to being the tallest spaceship ever, its Super Heavy booster will produce 16 million pounds of thrust at liftoff. This impressive thrust will allow it to lift at least 100 tons of payload or possibly even 150 tons to low Earth orbit. To attain this thrust, the Super Heavy will be powered by 29 to 32 Raptor engines, which will be filled with 3,400 tons of cryogenic methylox. The upper stage, on the other hand, will have six Raptor engines. The choice of propellant is also quite notable here. The propellant tanks in the middle of the vehicle feed liquid methane, or CH4, and liquid oxygen to the Raptors. Methane is the fuel, and oxygen is the oxidizer that helps the fuel burn. This unique combination, called methylox, can generate plenty of thrust as opposed to conventional fuel sources and it also a prudent choice in terms of cost-effectiveness. Musk disclosed that methane can be easily synthesized from the water on the Martian subsurface and from the atmospheric CO2 through a chemical process called the Sebacea reaction. Refueling the Starship for its return trip to Earth using readily available resources on Mars will undoubtedly add a mark of self-sufficiency to the spaceship, hence making the journeys to space more cost-effective, eco-friendly, and of course more feasible. The Most Cost-Effective Rocket Ever SpaceX has designed the Starship in a way that both its stages are fully reusable. This means that the expensive, principal hardware elements that it uses will not be discarded at sea or burn up upon re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere like other systems currently in use. Instead, the spacecraft and rocket will be recovered from space to be checked and refurbished before it flies again. Not only will this reduce the downtime between flights, but will also reduce the cost of the whole enterprise. Another factor that will significantly lower the cost of this rocket is the refueling mechanism. The combustion of the methylox and the raptors takes place in stages, and the engine's design itself significantly cuts down the amount of propellant that's wasted. The material used for the Starship is cost-effective too. The first few Starship prototypes were made from a stainless steel alloy called 301, as opposed to an aluminum alloy used by other spaceships or carbon fiber material that SpaceX had initially planned to use. Stainless steel also handles heating much better than carbon composites, and this is a crucial factor for the Super Heavy and the Starship, as both of them will be making highly heated trips through the Earth's atmosphere at least twice. 
Rapid and frequent reusability at a slashed cost is the key to the company's long-term vision. The Starship is supposed to be so economically feasible that Musk has stated that it could fly for as little as $2 million per launch. So if everything goes according to plan, the Starship system will exponentially lower launch costs, hence ushering in a promising era of commercial space. According to the authors of the 2021 White Paper for Planetary Science and Astrobiology, the Starship is capable of fundamentally changing the paradigm for NASA science, human space exploration, and space technology development and testing. Musk's Insane Vision for Starship Would Elon Musk be Elon Musk without his revolutionary vision? The Starship was conceptualized to be a game-changer for space travel. The very founding ethos of SpaceX was to make life multiplanetary, which was partially motivated by imminent threats to human civilization, such as a huge asteroid strike or an apocalypse. Settling down on other planets would place some of our eggs in other baskets, that is, it would spare human civilization from becoming obsolete if Earth were to experience a cataclysm. At an international conference in Mexico in 2016, Musk outlined his rationales behind SpaceX. He stated that he believed history was about to bifurcate into two directions. One, humans could stay on Earth forever and witness an extinction event eventually, or two, humans could be a space-faring civilization or a multi-planet species. Musk undoubtedly said the right way to go would be the latter. Elon has spoken about his dream of building entire cities on Mars for a long time now. He believes that these settlements would require a large number of people and advanced technology to become self-sustainable. Realizing his dream requires a magnificent vehicle that is up to the task, and the Starship can ferry more than 100 people, or 100 metric tons of cargo at a time, to Mars, bringing the dream closer to reality. Musk has even bigger plans for the Starship. He said that the Starship could be used to launch a telescope into space, as a successor to NASA's Hubble telescope. It has also been theorized that the Starship could help bring hazardous space debris back down to the Earth. Another use of the Starship, according to Musk, would be to launch SpaceX's Starlink satellites. Currently, the company uses its Falcon 9 rockets to expand its fleet of satellites for a massive, interconnected internet network. SpaceX has launched around 1,740 satellites to date, with Falcon 9 capable of launching 60 satellites at a time. With the help of the Starship, however, 400 satellites can be launched at a time. And these dreams are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the Starship's potential. Why do you think the Starship is the best rocket ever built? Comment below. If you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button and subscribe to SpaceX Future for all the latest updates from SpaceX. Thanks for watching.